Senator, good morning to you. Good morning. Uh, you listen to the reporting there. What do you make of this? Why? I think, the most, I think the most important thing is that the investigation can't be done by the WHO or an international group, but it also can't be done by Americans who are involved with funding the lab. So Dr. Fauci and his hand-picked person from EcoHealth, they can't investigate themselves because they gave the money to the lab. They have a conflict of interest and a desire to make sure nothing bad is discovered that could have occurred with NIH money. So they can't be the investigators either. And this is very important. I think Dr. Fauci should be made to testify under oath about the money that was given to the lab. And the good news is yesterday I passed an amendment on the Senate floor that says no more gain of function money can be sent to China. This is very important because this could happen again. I mean, they are experimenting with the SARS virus, which is 15 times more deadly than COVID-19. COVID-19 kills about 1%, but that's been 3 million people, more than 3 million people. If SARS got out of the lab, that could be 50 million people. So this is a very important task ahead of us. Okay. We have, a, we have 11 labs in our country that do this kind of research. You, you, you raise a, a, a number of interesting points. Let me see if I can knock off as many as I can in the next few minutes here. Uh, we are told that the NSC, the National Security Council, is the one that's running this investigation now. Is that acceptable? I think it needs to be a bipartisan commission, not just the administration. I think really this should not be a partisan issue. And I think yesterday we demonstrated that Democrats will vote for some uh, repercussions on this. But I don't know that the administration can investigate this, particularly since they've shut down the previous administration's investigation. So I'm worried that they're trying to cover up the government's involvement, our government's okay, involvement. So they, in they would this argue research. they haven't shut it down. And I, I mean, maybe it is just a question of whether it's in this silo, the State Department or in this silo over here at the National Security Council. Stand by for more on that. You mentioned Anthony Fauci. Here he was on the Hill about the funding for that lab in Wuhan and what was legitimate and what was not. Watch. About six hundred thousand dollars over a period of five years. So it was a modest amount. There was nothing in the grant application that would call for what is referred to as gain of function. Gain of function meaning taking a virus that could infect humans and making it either more transmissible and or pathogenic to humans. Okay, so a couple things in there. This, take the value of the dollars he mentioned, 600000 over five years. Is that a lot? Does that matter? Uh, sure. Well, sure, it's a lot. And actually, there are some reports that it added up to millions over time. But the other thing he said is that there was no gain of function in the application. There are scientists who have looked at the application and absolutely and categorically disagree with him. They say the application did include gain of function. The other evidence we have is that Dr. Xi from the Wuhan lab published a paper that is clearly about gain of function. And in that, she thanks Dr. Fauci and his group for funding that paper. So there's a lot of contradictions going on. The bottom line is he cannot investigate himself. He was responsible for giving this money, so he has every incentive to cover it up and not reveal the truth about it, because if the pandemic did come from the lab, he would have great culpability in this. So he can't be investigating this, nor can any of his people that he picks be investigating this. He needs to be excluded from the investigation. So you allege today this is a cover-up. Is that what I no, hear? I'm, no, what I'm saying is, is that there could be a cover-up because there's an incentive by people like Dr. Fauci not to uh, reveal anything because he would be then culpable because he was in charge of funding this lab. Okay, one more thing I, I want to squeeze it. in here. The National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, earlier, James Freeman wrote about this in the Wall Street Journal a few days ago. Uh, the quote from that group was, it's impossible for us to be aware of, nor can we account for all of their activities. Just final word on this, Senator. I think that's true, and one of the strongest evidence that this came from the lab is they haven't been able to find the virus in any animal. Nobody, no, we, they tested thousands of animals in the wet market. None of them tested positive for COVID. So there's a lot of things that need to be investigated, but so far a lot of the evidence is pointing towards the lab. Well, Senator, thank you for coming on today. It continues, okay? The mystery there deepens. Rand Paul